Hi guys, it's me Karen and we've come to do part three of this book here. This is the Slavic stories, the news that carries through the woods. That's what this one says here. This is Slavic stories and her name is Anna Mary C. Naska or something in that line. I'm not great at pronouncing names. And we're doing this picture here. You notice it looks a little funny. <laughs> okay, what I did was just take a package of sticky notes. These are just notepads and they're sticky up here at the top. And I took a pair of scissors and I just cut along and then laid down some rays from this little round circle here that you can either have as a sun or a moon depending on what feeling you want in your picture and I'm doing it as a kind of sunrise. So the sun will be rising and coming through the branches that are in the back here. Now I did have to use a ruler and cause, because there are some tree trunks up here but they're not in this area here and they do come up from the bottom. So all I did was line it up top, bottom and draw a pencil line so I know where they're at. The pencil line I did very, very lightly. I'm kind of doing the trees in a darker color and then having the sun kind of bleed through. At least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so what we're going to do is go ahead and put down the colors on the back, trying to avoid the colors that I have put or trying to avoid these lines. This one I couldn't get a great big long one for, so I just cut one and I'm going to hold it down while I'm doing everything else. And if that doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and use like four of these sheets. I don't think it's going to work. So I'll show you what I did. I'll just take this one up when I'm ready and try to get it about the same distance. I just took it because I don't have a solid sheet. Just cut off where I have the sticky part. And we'll lift this one up and just continue it kind of down. But I have it a little over further. And then just lay it down. Just cut this one up here. Boom. And I don't know how far down I want that, but I'm just going to add another little piece there. So it covers up the bottom here. I think I want it to come into the um, spider web here. By the way, the page name uh, on the poem on the other side is a spiral of time woven from the spider web. So we're just going to bring that in just a little bit more. That doesn't look terribly straight. Try to line it up. And I'm going to try, I mean, I'm trying a whole bunch of stuff. I've never really done this before. And we're just having fun, so. I hope this is the top of the page. <laughs> we're just going to bring some of that down here, too. Just so I have an idea of where it's going. We don't have a line of ground over on this side either so I was probably going to take this line and, and bring it kind of across here just so I kind of have an idea where it might be maybe put some trees I don't know we're winging it so what I'm going to do is get out some distress ink I'm also going to put a piece of paper down here at the bottom. I got through a lot of sticky notes, by the way. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> Get yourself supplied if you follow my video. I'm going to put one there. And that's kind of straight. So my line doesn't look like it was straight when I put my line down. We're just going to go that far. Looks pretty straight. 
check it out. Yeah, that's good enough. Erase my line that I have up here. Make sure my eraser is clean. And just erase that little pencil line. Don't want to see it. I'm going to get a better angle here. It goes all the way up to her foot. That little centaur back there. Okay, so we're going to just kind of line this up. Bring it to there. Okay. Now that I have a page full of weird looking stuff, I'll get the uh, lights on and I'm going to ink it. Hold on. Okay, these are my inks of choice. Uh, scattered straw is going to be more for the beams that are coming down. It's a brownish yellow tone. And excuse my fingernails. I've been washing my hands a lot lately. Gathered twigs is going to be our kind of um, light base that goes in the back. Uh, then we have vintage photo which will be more of the mm, faded look going into the trees. Walnut stain is going to be the trees. We're going to try. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. So this one won't come out until a little later when I peel these off and then we'll do that part. So we're going to go in with the um, gathered twigs. I'll show you what these colors look like. So, what I got here? I have no idea what I want to use. That one's kind of blue. Oh, I need a brown pad. Which you would think would be easy because that's the color I use the most but it's never easy to find anything on my desk. <laughs> Give me a brown one. Brown, brown, brown. Oh, you're close enough. It's kind of brown and green on here, so if I get a little green in there, I don't care. I'm just going to get on the corner edge here. You can see that basically all I'm doing is just rubbing it there. There is a distinct line here. This is a side that has the ink. This does not have any. And when I color with it, we'll use that edge. And see, that's a nice light color. And the other colors, I'll do this one on this side. This one is a little redder and a little darker. And of course, this is going to be our darkest color. That's what I want the trees to look like. All right. So, wiping off all the ink that's on the pad. It's okay if the light one's on there because that's the color I want to start with. So, going on that one corner, loading it up, and we're going to kind of just go oh, up here somewhere, not getting the little globe up there. So we'll just go up to it and pull this color down a little bit. It's okay if you go into the tree. Number one, it can have a lot of coats of color. I want to go around that circle. I want to keep it white. Okay, so we're just going to bring that up. I'm going to bring this color down into where I have all the lines. Just kind of patting it in there. Go up from that leaf, patting it in there, go around the owl. Although it wouldn't matter if you got a little color on him because he's going to be brown anyway. Okay. Just kind of going around these areas. Okay. 
Yep, 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 yep. You go down, you go up. <laughs> Stay where you belong, people. All right. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to bring in the vintage photo that was gathered twigs. Going to use the same ink pad, just turn it a little bit and use the other corner. Pep some off and we'll just go in. It's going to be, to be really bright up, hopefully up at this end. Stay down. And then it's going to get um, kind of darker in the mid area and then a little lighter coming down because we're going to turn the bottom down here green. So we want to keep this mid-tone kind of in the mid the middle. Just a tiny bit up here where the trees are. Define our sunshine a little better there. Take it down that tree trunk. And I guess there's a little tree trunks over there. Just going to kind of give that a misty look. Okay. in with the walnut stain. We're going to take oh, one of these little wooden dowels I have sitting around here on my desk somewhere. This is a detail, mini detail tool. <laughs> detail mini tool. Anyway, it's a Ranger product. I'll leave the link down below. I use them all the time. I'm not really impressed with them because they fall apart real easy, but they do what I need them to do. I'm going to make this tree darker. Try to get it as even as I can without using water. It's my goal here. I do not want to put water in the book yet. I haven't tested it to see how well it will work. We will go over some of this with pencil to make it darker. Just going to try to get some of this. I may just use a dark pencil. Hmm. Like I said, we are playing. I get some of those branches. Just kind of lines of dark. Since I'm into using the sticky notes, what I'm going to do is a nice dark one there. Just going to put one on each side of it. See if we can't get that one just a bit darker. And we're going to use the um, big pad here. And just go in there with that. And now we have that darker. I'm going to go on this one. a lot better. Tree trunks are not exactly straight so since it has a different color down on it we can avoid it looking too splotchy. I 
do you want them dark? Okay, we're just going to do that over all of these little trees. If you don't get it perfectly lined up, don't fret about it. I mean, crying out loud, you're not seeing these trees terribly well anyway. Just kind of want to have a little resemblance of a tree or dark lines in the background. When I put it down and there's obviously a big leaf here, I'm going to avoid touching that leaf. I'm just going to go above it and in the middle of it. Touches a little bit of it. It's okay. The leaf can have a shadow. All right. Do this one up here. There it is there. more here and then we will be done. Three exactly, so. <laughs> Maybe it goes over the green. It's okay too. It's water uh, based ink. You can get it wiped up with water if you do it quickly. Of course, I'm going to do to the other side. If nothing else, we can add a little brown shadow to that. And one more. There. I'll try to... This one here. Whoops. We'll fix stuff up later. Boom. Like I said, we're playing, we're having fun. It'll all look good in the end. Boom. Okay, we need to put a little bit of uh, groundwork on this side too. So I'm going to wipe off most of that. And we're going to get out the scattered straw here which is your yellower tone. And I'm going to get out a yellow one. That's pretty brown now. Okay. We're going to add this in everywhere here just to brighten up some areas. Get a little of that on the sun too because we have sun. Now, this area here that has a little bit of trees coming up, we're just going to go in with the scattered straw and bring that up behind her back and very lightly up here. Shouldn't say lightly. We're going to do it a few times because I'm going to use this as the rays too and I want the rays a little lighter. So we're just going to kind of until we run out of ink here. We're going to bring it down to her ears. We're going to go in here. Go around her face. I don't know um, because we used uh, the Black Widows. It's okay if I go over the flowers We or the leaves. We can use that as coloration on them. I know Prisma is wax based and this will not stick to the wax, but I'm not sure on the Black Widows, so we're just going to see. I want it darkish up on the top up here. Try not to get it in her leg too much. Because we're going to get a line there for our ground. And just kind of around in here. And that should be good enough. All right, we're going to pull off our striping here. Let go of my finger. 
We're going to pull it off here too. Let go. think this would come up easier it's just sticking out go down here <laughs> there so we have some rays coming out we're going to let's see I have another yellow here somewhere Let me get it out. Hold on a second. Okay, squeezed lemonade. That'll be a little brighter. I'm gonna try to get some of this color off of here and get a nice bright color here. Brighter color, I should say. There we go. Okay, gonna load that up and we're just gonna kind of go in those rays that are coming down. them out a little bit but they're still there there we go a little more on this side on the sunshine all right And then on our grass down here, we are going to put shabby shutters. And I'll use the um, brown and green one that I had. So it'll have a little brown in it. We're going to put our sticky notes going the opposite direction here. So we don't blend too much into that. And then we're going to add our green. So we're going to just come down. It's going to have a little brown in it. Just use it lightly. I've got to get a little closer to our line here. see how well this book takes a little water because I'm going to splatter some water on here yeah I don't know if it'll take that up or not but 
we will see. I just want to get a little splattering down here. Let that dry and see if that did anything. Be right back. Okay, it's all dry now and we did get a nice little splatter effect going down here and some coming up around in this area. And what I'm going to do is get a um, pencil, probably the tarantula one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, tarantula. We're going to um, kind of add in some of this darkness that I did not get all the way to the top here. So I'm just going to stick it in there. And we're going to bring some of that down into this ink also. A little on this side. Alright, well we need a browner brown here. So let's go through our pencils and see what we can find. We've got the Huntsman. I want the chocolate, dark chocolate. It's a skin, or a, yeah, Scorpion 40. We're going to go over that. Get a little bit of that and bring that down into that ink too. Also take this up the trees. Let's see any of the branches that uh, didn't get dark. Darken it around this one. Just going through to find the tree trunks that we didn't get ink down here. I guess a tree trunk has got to go up there somewhere. And there's one there. We will go through all the little branches up here when I get the camera down a little closer where I can see them a little better because they kind of go all the way through here. Okay, so I'll get the camera down a little bit better. See what I'm doing. This whole tree needs to be darker.
Okay. All these little lines we want to darken up. I'm going to get a darker color here. Almost a black. Um, we have midnight. So we're going to use that one. And we'll darken this tree trunk up a little here. So back to the now is it dark chocolate. Okay, so we just go in and tackle all those little branches. I kind of want to let that not look so um, detailed because it's far, far back into the background, but we want to give it some color. So we're going to go in with some olive brown and try to... Darken up some of these areas here. Oh, hello, little, little snail. <laughs> Gotta get you colored too. This one's a good color for the um, brown that we've kind of made up when we were coming down. And then we want to add in some green. So we're going to, what was that color? That was olive brown. So we want to get an olive green. If I'm so lucky to find it. Green, 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 olive green. Okay, olive green, which is Scorpion 62. And we're going to bring some of that color up. So very lightly. color up into the um, shabby shutters, which didn't show up as green as I thought it would. Just move the camera over a little bit more so you can see. So just very lightly we're bringing that color up.
and we can bring it down to And there we go. We do have to color in these leaves. <laughs> kind of leaving them all alone out there. So this is the same color as the olive green that we're bringing in here. And we have kind of a brown color going here. So I want to bring a little brown in there. few colors of green and this is a uh, thing green Sorry, kind of concentrating on the leaf. Uh, I keep all the greens together this time. <laughs> I'm going to bring in some olive um, brown. Okay, uh, what else do we have here in Greenville? The cicada, cicada, <laughs> which is our bright green, which we might want to add back in here because some of that bright green got a little yellow, which is fine.
over here. <laughs> and let's see, what other color can we bring in? Can't tell me that's the only colors I had out for the leaves. Bring in some Huntsman. Add some of that into the trees too. For another green because I want another green in there. I'm going to bring in Cobra. Well, this little leaf is turning out interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to put a little more green into it. Hold on a second. Okay, we're going to take the um, Huntsman again. And I'm going to darken these veins up.
Okay, we're going to go back in with the, um, the lightest color. And I'm going to bring in the Karen Dash. It's written on here somewhere. I uh, would say Karen Dash there, except for I sharpened it. Should have sharpened the other end. <laughs> it's the uh, full blender. So we're just going to use it very lightly here to blend in all those little colors. do this little mushroom while we're here. Uh, hold on, my cat is attacking my toes. Okay, we're with cinnamon, tarantula, and light mocha that I had mustard. And mustard. We're going to color in the mushroom down here. <laughs> Same colors as we did this little guy here. Going with the cinnamon. Go in with the mustard. Light mocha. I was asked by a viewer that are hearing the scratching going on here and if it's the um, pencils or the paper. This is sitting on the table pretty close. It's kind of in the back of the book. It's also sitting on another piece of paper. So if I take this paper. You can hear that because it's scratching kind of like it would on the desk. The pencils are creamy, so they're not really scratchy. A couple of them are, but not many. Oh, this is tarantula. 
add that here. I rather like these pencils. Um, they're not as, I guess, deeply pigmented as some other ones, but they've got a nice coloration to them where you can get the depth by adding different colors. I'm going to do the little snail here too. <laughs> it's the tarantula. Get a tarantula colored shell, little dude. He needs some pink. What do we got here in pink? What are you? You're a pretty color. Huh? Burgundy. I'm going to give him a little burgundy on his tummy. And in his shell. Maybe a little in this <laughs> mushroom too. What else? Maybe her ears. I can't just put it one place. I have to put it a few places, so. And her lips. That would be pretty. Little on her eyes. Okay. What other color can I bring in? <laughs> oh, we're just going to go with the olive brown here. Throw a little of that in the mushroom, too. Whoa! Throw the pencils off the desk. Not a good idea. My cat will go after them. A uh, little white. We're going to add some white there and some White dots on the shell. Maybe a few on the mushrooms too. We'll add a few more. We've got a lot more things to do here. Um, we'll get these little guys over here done. Green can go over there. Want to go in with a color that is not going to blend too much with the ink in the background. So we're going to go in with the lightest color and that's the mocha. I'll kind of blend in with those colors. And put a little on the owl's tummy here. All right, then we will go in with do 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 Huntsman. Just a darker color. Out of the leg here, that one there, that there, and we'll get a little depth in her hair here. Owl feather. And we'll bring in a little cinnamon. Here 
very lightly going over the colors that are already there. And back in with the olive brown here. They kind of blend in a little too much, so I want to get them a little lighter, so I'm going to bring in a little Prisma White. bring in a little black wherever I put the black. He needs uh, eyes. No idea where his feet are. <laughs> it's going to give him a little look of feet. Okay, then we're going to bring in the white Pasca. I don't know what to do with her. She doesn't really have a face back there. But you kind of tell what she is. Take a little ink that's left on this and just darken up that area a little bit more. Okay. Now we have this corner up here. I'll show you how to do one leaf here and then I'll do the rest of those leaves off camera and I gotta color him in. So we're gonna do him first. So we're going in with the olive brown and to put a base down on that. The Huntsman.
Add some of that in for his hair. Bring in... Mm, don't know about that one yet. <laughs> I'm looking for the dark brown. Keep picking up cinnamon. A dark chocolate. <clears throat> and mustard. And we're going to bring in some light mocha for his musical instrument. And add some shadow to that with some chestnut which is a copper color. I'll throw a little of that in him too. I don't even think dark tan will show up. What are you up? Try some brown bug. New color. <laughs> and some rattlesnake. I'm just pulling out colors. white on his shoulder here, a little lighter. And a little dark black hoof if I can find black.
going to bring in the Caran d'Ache blender and see if we can't blend those colors in just a little bit better. It's really red up there. <laughs> it's a little light mocha. We'll see if that times that down a little. Well, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to bring in some green in his hair, too. So, some olive green. There we go. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that, but the uh, camera ran out of battery. So what I'm going to do is um, one of these leaves. And then I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. So pick a leaf, any leaf. We'll do one of the ones down here. So we have the bright green here that we already put on it. So we'll kind of go over that a little bit. This one... Maybe we'll do this little set here. This little lost puppy over here. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go in with the... Um, ooh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll go in with the olive green. Okay. on the darkest spots here and bring that up into the lighter part. This leaf might be a little different because it does have a lot of distress ink underneath it. Then we're going to go in with um, the Huntsman and just darken up the tip here in one side. Okay, then I'm going to go back over it with the uh, lightest color here. With a little firmer pressure. And then light as we get out. But Okay. If you want it to look a little lighter on one side, bring out um, your eraser. Make sure it is clean. I know I say that a lot, but I mean, if you use this in any other color, you don't want to put that color on your leaf. 
So just lighten up one portion if you got it a little too dark. Okay, just like that. And that's how we're going to do the leaves going up into the uh, area up here. We're going to put a little um, more of that yellow up here where all these dots are. But I want to get the leaves all colored first. So when you can see the picture, you'll see the uh, Distress Ink up in that area. We're going to take a little bit of the olive green here and go down on the base here and just put a little at the top. Both sides. Just so you have the green coming down and we'll pull some of this green up. I'm using the side of the pencil, so not the tip. I do that if I just want a little bit of color. Shade it down. Okay. We're going to be doing um, do, 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 do. some work on the spider web too. Get you down just a little closer. I haven't decided, but I'm going to put like little dew drops on it where the spider web connects. May add a little white coming down to give it kind of a transparent look. I also might um, bring in some silver on that. I just haven't decided yet. <laughs> but for now we're just going to attach it. It should show up white because we put the yellow distress ink under it. So I think you should be able to see that. I need to get a little closer so I can see it a little better. Um, the do, 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 stickles I would use is a silver. Whoa, yeah, you're a little close. So sorry. Get up a little higher. <laughs> The silver is stickles and I can put that on there, but the tip, I need it a little thinner. So I thought I'd put a little piece of tape on that and see if I couldn't get a thinner line with it. But I don't know where my tape is. So let's see what we can get here. If I can even get it to come out. <laughs> Always a thought. Maybe this one's empty. Here it comes. Let's see. Do, 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 little dot there and then kind of a thin line. I don't know if you can see that. So I think I like that better than the white. So we'll do it real thin like that. Okay, so when that gets done, you'll see that. I do like the little white dots, so I'll probably put some on the um, leaves. Uh, I'll turn that sideways. <coughs> so just in the leaf area too. This does two things other than adding a little extra to the leaf, it'll define it from the background a little more. Okay, and we're going to add a little, I'm going to be careful what I don't touch here, into the owl. I can get it to work again. Okay. And 
We'll put a few of the dots over here too. Okay, the owl, we're going to go back, <coughs> excuse me, over with a little bit of brown so it doesn't look um, so white. i got to be careful not to put my hand in the stickles there. So once it dries, you can just go lightly over the white and knock it down a little bit. I am going over this with the olive brown. Just rubbing it a little on there. So it stays white, but not as white. Okay. And we will make sure that his eyes are nice and big and black. I know they should be kind of a yellow color, but it stands out a little bit better. I'll get the white a little more knocked back a little later. So at the end of the video, I will show you what it looks like all finished. Oh, another thing that I'm going to do, I can put my hand here. I'm going to run the white uh, pen here or pencil on just the one side of these rays that are coming down. And then add a little into the sun and maybe pull a few coming out because the sun's bright. Coming out this way. Okay. And then maybe a little bit of yellow. So we have light yellow. We're going to go over that white with a little of that. Pull that in there. So that's about all I'm going to do. I'm going to finish off the leaves over here, finish the whole web in the silver, and just add some little Posca dots here and there. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate uh, everything you guys do for me. So <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now.